Hey, how you doing here? This is Curtis at www.tomato.pictures. That's tomato.pictures. And today I'm going to show you how I go about seeding, getting seeds for my tomato for the for tomatoes for the following year. These are my black zebras heirlooms. Look at them, they're beautiful. Nice striped tomatoes, of which I'll have lots of seeds on my site also for sale. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how the process of, of saving seed. It's really simple and um, uh, it's quick. And you can have these seeds ready in about three to four days to store for the next year. One of the things that I see a lot of people do when, they, when they're saving seed, I, I see a lot of people um, using tomatoes that are, that are really not good varieties. I see people using tomatoes that are misshapen and uh, some people even think that all heirlooms have to be like misshapen and, 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 dis and contorted, distorted and all that stuff. Well, I don't believe so. I believe that a lot of the tomatoes get distorted because they allow the tomatoes to somehow cross-pollinate and then they use those to distorted tomatoes for seeds. So what I try to do is I try to use the best varieties, the best tomatoes that represent that kind for seeds. And so this to me represents a really, really good black zebra tomato. And these are what I'm going to get seeds from. Notice how, how beautiful they are. Alright? Now when I, when I cut for seeds, I cut down the middle this way. Okay, so let's, let's get this going here. I cut this way. And now I have this right here. All ready to go. See that? Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful right there. And, what, and I have two choices. I could, I could either... I could either scrape it out like so, yeah, with a spoon, you can use a spoon also, right? Now, now tomatoes have, they have two cavities, so I've just dug one out, but if I rip the tomato back here, in the back of it, it will have another cavity that I have to get the seeds out of, right? And here we go. That's one half. So you can do it like that, or you can do it like this. Just squeeze. Just squeeze. And and tada. Empty, seedless. Okay? So let's cut again. Cavity. See the cavities here, right there. The, the, the seeds are right in there. You can. It's like a little pocket. Little pocket here. And here we go. No more. Okay. Let's do one more. This one. I'm just gonna squeeze it. I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit here. All right. Now before I started doing this, I, I put a little bit of water into, into this container. It's, so I started off with a small amount of water in the container. And let's do number three. There we go. There we go. Squeeze that out. I just checked here, open it up and check. Make sure there's nothing. And here is the last one, sort of open the cavity up there, and I squeeze. The seeds are coming out there. Then I can then I can go in and check. And voila, we're done. Now these seeds, I will put out out on a, a table outside. Cover them up with something, and I will let them sit for about two to three days, or even four days, depending on the weather. If it's if it's a bit colder, then uh, I will let it sit for about four four days. By that time, the seeds will be separated from all the pulp, and you can safely sift the pulp out. What I do, I, I will do. I will fill this up with water, and then sort of throw that out. And this, you can already see the seeds in the bottom. See that right there? Well, the seeds will be even more in the bottom at that point when it's time to um, 
it will get a bit moldy after about three or four days and the, and the seeds will separate themselves from the pulp. The pulp will kind of rise and the seeds will fall to the bottom. All right? And what I'll do is I'll, I'll make another video and show you how I actually clean this up really quickly like in like 30 seconds. The whole thing is cleaned and I have seeds ready to go. All right? Thanks for watching. Please visit www.tomato.pictures for more interesting topics and videos and awesome pictures of all the tomatoes I grow and more. Thank you.